Yesterday we were treated to a new clip of the Fallout TV series. In that clip we're introduced to a new character. This is Knight Titus of the Brotherhood of Steel. Now I thought this whole scene was amazing, but particularly I was very impressed with the way they've handled this power armor. And particularly the way they've upgraded the way the power armor flies. And that upgrade takes the form of thrusters which come out of the wrists of the power armor. This is of course very different than what we're used to seeing the big clunky backpack on the power armor from Fallout 4 and Fallout 76. So I was shocked at all the hate and negative comments I was receiving for liking this. And I wondered if it's possible that people just don't realize that there is a real world system that works exactly the same way. That system is made by a company called Gravity Industries. And it's a fully working and operational system. And in fact, it's even undergoing military tests as we speak. And they found that having the thrusters on the arms gives the pilot far more control over flight. Now, one of the other things the show was criticized for is the way the pilot flies. People said it looks like he's kind of dangling on strings, which of course he probably was. But the truth is when you see this gravity system in operation, this is exactly how these suits operate. It does look like the guy's just flying on strings. It looks almost unreal. Now, aside from the fact that this now matches real world technology, there's another factor we have to take into account as well. Fallout power armor is built on top of an atomic powered exoskeleton, so you wouldn't need separate fuel for this. Now you can power a jet engine with atomic power. This is the American MB-36H, and this aircraft had an atomic reactor. Now it never actually powered the engines with the reactor before the program was cancelled, but you can see here from the design the very 50s look of everything. It fits the Fallout world very well. And I think it makes perfect sense that in that alternate retro 50s futurism of Fallout, this technology would have thrived. In fact, as late as 1959, the US was still potentially considering an atomic powered airship of all things. Wonder where that idea could be seen in Fallout. In fact, even today, research into atomic powered aircraft is undergoing somewhat of a resurgence. We also need to take into account that this show is set nine years after the end of Fallout 4. Given the Brotherhood's obsession with technology, particularly weapons and armor technology, and their massive production capabilities now on the East Coast, I would think it would be inconceivable that nine years later they would have made some upgrades. Still, this seems to be a topic that's divided the fan base. There seems to be some people out there that feel that any even slight deviation is some kind of heresy, even if it shows what looks like to me logical progress. So I guess you can tell I'm a fan of this. In fact, I'm really hoping someone comes up with a mod for this very soon. I'd very much like to equip this on my power armor in game. I'm also really interested to see who Knight Titus is. A lot of people seem to think this was Maximus, but he very clearly states his name as Knight Titus. But of course, we're just a few weeks away, so I'm sure we're going to find out. So I want to turn this over to you now. What do you think about this? Do you think people have been unjustified in their criticism? Do you think they've been justified? And this is a fair point. Let me know. I really want to hear from you. Don't forget, I have a full series of videos covering the TV show. So if you want to catch up, here's what to watch next. So until next time, stay safe. Hope to see you in another video very soon. Thanks for watching.